Angelou ending. Hi, POD. Remember us? 7 Eleven in Tagbina. Yeah. Yes, I do. Hi. How are you? Welcome. My goodness. Uh, you guys, um, this is Angelou and ending. Uh, I met her, this lovely young lady, and three of her friends sit, uh, sitting outside 7 Eleven uh, in Tagbina. Uh, my driver, um, let me call him Glenn because my driver sounds, sounds possessive and it sounds like I'm King. I don't want to come across that way. My friend Glenn and Glenn here is a neighbor. He lives, you know, just right down a stone, uh, throw away from me. Uh, gr gave me a great deal on, on, you know driving, renting the van, and going there. So Glenn was a big, big help uh, during the entire uh, visit. But yes, I do remember you. Thank you for coming in. I hope you stick around uh, because I want to talk about the GoPro Hero 7. Remember that camera you saw me holding and shooting video on you? Well, I got that. I still have to edit it and get it uploaded. So I will be working on that. But I want to talk to you guys and gals about an experience that I had with the GoPro Hero 7 at the beach. You know what? And I'm going to do that right now. All right. I was hoping Pinoy Ahoy and uh, check out the Rileys would come in. But I can always back up a little bit and, you know, uh, you know, give them the rundown of what happened. Hey, Glam Arnie is here. Glam Arnie, everybody. I've known Glam for, my goodness, what feels like four years now. Uh, but the interesting thing is I've never met Glam in person. Uh, but a great gal, uh, very talented, a vlogger as well. Uh, she's a vlogger just like Angelou Anding. And, uh, you know, she's uh, Glam also does modeling and cos, you know, sells some cosmetics, uh, you know, et cetera. So are you guys all there? Are you all ready for me to tell you about the GoPro Hero 7 Black being submerged into water? Are you ready? Are you still there? Let me see a one. I'm not going to start unless I see a one next to all of your names. Are you ready? Do you want to hear the story? Do you want to hear what happened when I submerged this into the water over at the beach? If you want to know, all you got to do is type one, drop that one in the box. And if I see enough of them, we'll get started. Totally on you. So, any uh, Hazy Cheesy, you still there? Tim D is the first one. Tim D, the first one. To log in with a one. Yeah, bro, I'm waiting. Okay, well, I don't see a one. Come on, Glam. I don't see a one. Glam, you're going to want to hear this, girl. I know it because I know you be all about GoPro. All right? Being a big vlogger like yourself. Come on. I need to see more ones. Don't be shy, Angelou Ending. Are you still there? Are you still there? Or did you get your cup of joe at the 7-Eleven and already run off on little old P.O.D.? Let's continue onward. Filipina Desert Gardener. Hi, F.D.G. in the house. Thank you for coming in. Really appreciate it. Hazy Cheesy, where are you? Hazy Cheesy, don't see the one. Come on now. Come on, M.M.K. I don't see the one. Angelou Anding, I don't see it. I don't see the one. Come on, Deborah. Got to get a one on the board. Come on, you guys and girls. What's wrong with you all? Are you a little sluggish? Huh? You need your POD fix? Well, I'm here. <laughs> FDG <laughs> number two. Glam always got to be my, I swear, Glam and my wife are totally alike. They really are. I wish they knew how alike they are. They're bullheaded. They're, they're like a car about. You say you want to go right, they go left. You want to go left, what do they do? They go right. They're like a car about. They're, they're self-thinkers, you know? And I actually like that. I actually like that. Um, FDG is here. Good morning. Mayan Buntug to you there. Mayan Gabi'i. 
from Davao City. Good to see you all. Thank you. Yeah, you know well. I do. I do. Okay, so let me tell you the story. Even though I am greatly disheartened and disappointed because I didn't see my chat box light up with ones. I only got a one out of Tim, and I got a one out of FDG, and I got a two out of Glam. Uh, that, that doesn't surprise me because, like I said, she is a Carabao. You know, she don't look like a Carabao, but she thinks like one. She does her own thing. Uh, so come on, okay? So anyway, so I will, I will, Glam. I'll give my regard, your regards uh, to Cha. I most certainly will do that. Uh, the others took off on me. They took off on me. There's no other way around it. Otherwise, they would have put a one. They took off on me. Cheesy took off on me. Angelou Anding took off on me. I feel MMK took off on me. I feel used and abused. Deborah took off on me. Jim's like, he's getting more, inf you know, he's getting more, you know, like, get it out now, you know, because you see all those ones. Okay, here's what happened. Wife and I went out to the beach. Uh, we're, you know, have a grand old time. We're going to get some great video footage of the beach. Uh, let me read you something here. I will pull it up here. GoPro Hero 7 Black action camera. All right. So it says inside the red marked box, rugged, a waterproof share experiences you can't capture with your phone. Hero 7 Black is rugged, waterproof without a housing to 10 meters and up for any adventure. All right. 10 meters is the equivalent of 33 feet. Uh, feel free to do the math if you don't take my word for it. All right. So here's what happened. I took this camera. I put it inside the housing on the camera, just like so. I took the tripod stand from the bottom. All right. Are you watching? Are you watching? Give me a thumbs up if you're still watching this. Then I took this and I stabbed it and sank it into the sand on the beach. All right into the sand on the beach. And I was going to get some regular video footage of the waves slapping the shoreline. And then I was going to transfer over and get some time lapse and time warp uh, action of those same waves slapping the beach. Okay? Hold that thought. Let me show you. Let me show you a picture of it. All right. Let me bring up the video. A little bit of footage here. All right. Don't run off. Come on now. Go ahead and play for Big Daddy here. Don't be shy. Okay, so I'm getting my shoes off here. I'm getting my socks off. I'm getting ready to go take the plunge with my camera. <laughs> okay, I'm lying. I got it stuck into the beach. I'm going to take some regular footage, as you see here. And then after this successful attempt, I'm going to put it into time warp. All right, because time warp looks really cool. But look what happens. Look out. Watch out. Whoa. Where did it go? There's the camera. Holy shit. What's going on? That Did you see that? Did you see what happened? A little bit of wave. Now, that wave looks stronger than what it was. It wasn't. It was knocked. It was obviously knocked over into the water. All right. Now, I got a question for you. Did that look like 33 feet? 
Did that look like 10 meters? Come on, keep up. You guys are always complaining about me not being able to keep up with the chat box. So I am asking the questions. Did you see that? And part two of that same question is, yeah, okay, come on. If you know the answers, shout them out. If you know the answers, oh, my God, yeah, yeah. So anyway, yeah, I put it on the tripod, knocked the camera over. I got a question. Now, come on. Did that look? No, nope, there you go. Thank you, FDG, for playing along. That did not look like 33 feet. That did not even look like 33 millimeters. Thank you, Tim. Bam! It did not even look like 33 millimeters. So what was the result? What was the result? Well, here's the result. I have now a 28K pesos, of course, paperweight. It's a paperweight. That's what it just became. In a matter of seconds, became a paperweight. A 28K freaking paperweight. That one little knockover destroyed my camera my 33 feet 10 meter submersion camera under 33 what was it millimeters of water you guys saw it for yourself you saw it for yourself half the camera was submerged because you saw part of the camera underwater the other camera Looking up, you know, it's a paperweight. It's a paperweight. It's a paperweight. That's what it became. That's what it became. I lost a 28K camera within seconds. Within seconds. So now what do I do? It's a two-year-old camera. The warranty has expired. What do I do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to fight them tooth and nail. I don't, and I won't take no for an answer. I will not. Anybody that knows me knows I will not take no for an answer unless it's keep your hands off me, of course. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so anyway, um, I won't take no. I'll fight them tooth and nail. And the other thing is, is this, they advertise 33 feet that you can submerge this without the need of this, which is the underwater casing clearly states up to 33 feet, 10 meters. You can submerge this without this. Anything beyond that, you need this. 33 millimeters, according to Tim Diziak's rough calculation, is what this camera was submerged in. And it destroyed it. All 28K of it destroyed. It's a paperweight. Hey, I want to welcome in my uh, beautiful and lovely sister-in-law, Jing Eliodora. Thank you, Jing. It is a surprise to see you. I think this is the first time Jing had come into my live stream. Thank you, Jing, for being here. Uh, Jing is currently overseas, you guys. She went over to uh, her first tour of duty, if you will, uh, Qatar, some years ago as an OFW. She came back for a little bit of a break and then went over to Hong Kong, where she currently is as an OFW. So a big shout out and a big kiss mwah, from me to my sister-in-law, Jing, over there in Hong Kong. Good to see you. We had a great time, uh, great time with you, uh, you know, when you were here. Looking forward to seeing you again. We had a wonderful time in Tegbina until I turned my 28K GoPro camera into a paperweight. I'm not happy about it. 
But I, I'm not going to sit down and take it either. I'm going to go to the GoPro place, and I'm going to be, you get more, you get farther with honey, all right? You don't want to go in blasting them right away. You get more with sugar and honey. Remember that, all right? But when the sugar and honey runs out, that's the long pause for effect. When that runs out, then that's when you lay down the thunder and the lightning. And then that's when you start hammering on them, pounding them into submission and keep just harassing them until they say, somebody, f please get that guy another camera, make him go away. That's exactly how I got my first job in radio broadcasting. Somebody shut that guy up. I am sick and tired of getting a phone call at 9 o'clock Monday morning every single Monday for the rest of my life. They said, yes, hire that guy. That's what I'm going to do with GoPro. <laughs> so there, don't run off. I want to show you some other things. As Now, you might say, whoa, I like my GoPro Hero 7. That's great. That's great. Congratulations. But I'm going to tell you why this camera sucks, okay? But before I do that, I'm going to get caught up with the room because I don't want to be accused of falling 45 minutes behind in my life, okay? Yeah, glam. Yeah, that's what happened. That's what happened. You know, a teaspoon of water and my camera breaks. No, I didn't have it in the waterproof housing. There was no need. There was no need because GoPro said it's good up to 33 feet below the surface of the water, which is 10 meters. Didn't need to put it in a water housing case. I had it stuck on a tripod stand on the beach and the water knocked it over and boom, fried my camera. <laughs> There was no need for it. Call the camera man manufacturer. Oh, definitely. 33 millimeters is still less than two inches. Take a look at this camera, you guys. Look how wide it is. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. You saw clearly how it fell into the water. Bam. Fried it. This camera is no longer any good. My wife, bless her heart, went to the, because she was at the mall uh, with her two family members that came back from the province because they're in transit to their province uh, for, for which they came from. And it's also my sister-in-law's birthday today, Floor. Happy birthday, Floor. Much love to you. Um, so they just happened to be at the mall and went to the store in which we bought this camera from. And you know what the guy told her? Love the guy. I don't have any complaints with the guy. Great guy. Love the staff there. But his words, his words, according to my wife, wait three days. It's waterproof. Wait three days and it'll probably come on again. What? What? Did I did I hear? Did I get that middleman thing? Did I hear that right? Wait three days and it, it might come back on again because it's waterproof. No. If it's waterproof, you don't have to wait three days. You should be able to just turn it on, turn it off right away. Wait three days. What? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Hey, hi, you guys. Thanks for coming in. Really appreciate you, you all. Hey, I'm okay. I'm not. A, I really am not in a bad mood. I really am not. I'm actually in a sarcastic mood. Okay. Big, big difference. Big difference. Good to see you, Gangsta Riley. Hey, hi, Gangsta FTG. Riley, did you see the video? Uh, did you guys that came in late uh, see the video that I played? Uh, Tim said I had a problem with my camera. 
Tim, uh, what what what's wrong with yours? Tim says warranty expired while it was in the repair shop. I called and asked for a supervisor so many times I got connected with Mr. Sony. Wow. Yeah, well, Tim, you don't strike me as the type either to take things lying down. POD, is that is the clip broke on it? No. No. There's nothing, there's nothing broke on the camera. Um you know, all the compartments are shut real tight, all the doors. Uh, four minutes. I'm I'm behind four minutes. Okay. Put it in rice. <laughs> oh, my God. Put it in rice. You got to be kidding me. My camera was replaced in less than one hour. Okay. Oh, okay. After you contacted Sony. Okay. Ah. Hey, Lady Marty, how are you? How are you? Thanks for coming in. So, yeah, public easement for benefit of the community. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm not in a charitable mood. Uh, they're not they're not taking that land. I'm going to fight over it, uh, you know, for it. Uh, I mean, that's a big chunk of land. You figure 25 feet in, 25 feet in from the road and for 135 feet yards long that's a swath of land that they're going to take from my wife not only do we lose that land do you know what we also have to do we have to move the houses back yeah you heard that right we're going to have to cut the houses off the poles that suspends them up in the air. And we're going to have to move two houses back so the bulldozer don't come through and knock them over. Oh, yeah. Been a great weekend. I am glad I went, though. Marty with a D. Dead soul girl, girl gamer. Hello. How are you? So for those of you who did not see the footage, let's recap. GoPro says you can submerge the camera without a water housing up to 33 feet, which is 10 meters. I would like you, the jury, to take a look at this and tell me if this looks like it exceeded 10 meters from the surface. Get ready now. Don't blink. Here it comes. Bam! There it is. There it is. Just a matter of seconds. 28K camera become a paperweight. Let me show you another thing that I don't like about this camera. All right. Here's the other thing. When you pop it and you pull out the camera or pull out the battery, you got a little tab. Little tab there. All right. Not on this one because this little tab thingy broke. Broke on this one. So when you put this into the camera, where the hell did it go? Be sure to carry around one of these so you can put it in there and pry the battery out. All right? Now, this is a GoPro action camera. So when you're in the heat of action recording something fast and wild and fun and you want to change that lock and load just like an M16A2 service rifle, but you got to stop, get one of these little thingies, and pry it out all because the little thingy lost its dinghy. Yeah, little thingy lost its dinghy. Doesn't have that where you can grab a hold and pull out because it broke. Don't run off on me. Here's the other cheap crap piece of 
thing on this one. This latch, this latch on there, there's a latch that goes up here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that broke after one week. One week's of use. That broke. It just snapped right off. All right. Yeah, that, that was a lovely little thing. So that broke. Oh, the other thing, too, is here. Now, you might think I was doing something what crazy with this, but I wasn't. I was taking this and putting it in this, and that snapped. <laughs> and it snapped. Can you believe it? I'm okay. Most people would be like really irate. It's not that I can afford losing a 28K GoPro camera, which now prevents me from vlogging the way I want to vlog. Paperweight. That's what that is. I tell you what, I personally, you may love your GoPro. Knock yourself out. That's great. I hope you do. I hope you have more success than me. Even this is starting to balloon out. You know, um, I'll tell you what. I personally will never, ever, ever buy another Go GoPro camera. I don't care if it's an 8, a 9, or... Or if I live long enough at 32, I will never, ever buy again a GoPro camera, ever. And a lot of people go crazy. Oh, I want a GoPro. I want a GoPro. I was one of them. I was one of them. Again, the long pause for effect. You know? <laughs> Careful what you wish for. Sometimes less is better. Lady Marty says, I have the same battery. Oh, okay. So what am I doing now, you guys? What am I going to do? Well, I'm going to fight to get my camera replaced. All right? If they won't replace it after, you know, after, you know, three or four years of fighting, if I live that long, I'll will it to somebody. I am going to take the three batteries that we have for the camera, the three batteries, all right? I'm going to take this, and considering the condition that they're in and that they've been used, but this one, guys, is brand new. This battery, I believe my wife said she paid one, two, or one, four for it. I don't recollect. But this is five days old. So there's another one, two, or one, four down the drain. All right? So I'm going to take these three batteries along with the charger, the charger, the charger cord. Also, I am going to take the lens off this GoPro Hero 7 because they are replaceable. Unlike the Hero H, you can't remove that. So I'm going to remove the lens, all right? I'm going to take the door compartment off. And I'm going to take all of the accessories that I have for the GoPro Hero 7, and I am going to sell them. And I will probably sell everything for around... 4K, 3 or 4K, uh, because, look, these batteries aren't cheap. This isn't cheap with, with the, uh, you know, um, you know, so, and then I got that tripod, I got the tripod holder too, so, and, and this. So I think the, the three, three, probably three, five, I'll probably cut my losses and sell whatever it is I can. That way, if somebody has a seven and they break the lens on that, they got a backup because POD took it off his paperweight 
and sold it to you so you have a backup. You got a backup plan. Oh, yeah, baby. And you got an underwater casing so you can submerge your camera in two inches of water and not lose sleep overnight. So that's what I'll do. I'll sell all of the accessories, including the, the lens off the GoPro for three, five total. Oh, and it's got this little stand too, this little one. If you want to just hook the camera up and set it down, you know, while you're doing, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, low shot, there you go. Got that little bad boy, got that tripod one that opens up. You got it. You got it. So I'll sell all of that for three, five. That's what I'll do. And I will um, advertise that on Facebook. Uh, you know, can I afford to go out and buy a brand new uh, and replace this? No. And I won't. And I won't. So what will I be vlogging with again? Back to this. Back to this. All right. That's what I'm back to. My mobile device. You know, it is what it is, you know. I want to shift gears and talk about my my tap came off my battery too. Oh, <laughs> Riley. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. So, you guys, yeah, it's hard to remove the battery. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, that little tab just pulled right off. I told my wife, my wife, my wife was worried. I said, "Hon, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. You know, where the hell did I put it? All you, all you need, all you need is one of these GoPro. Hey, GoPro, I got an idea for you. Why don't you make this in the beautiful blue and black GoPro colors and sell one of these with the GoPro camera? All right. That's a good idea. Hey, you know, think in advance. Oh, yeah, before it happens, you too can be the proud owner of a little GoPro colored screwdriver so you can stick it in when it breaks off. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got it going on. Team Bungisness, how are you? Good to see you. Good. You know what? <laughs> Sometimes in life, you just have to laugh. You just have to make fun and you have to laugh. Because throwing it into the water, throwing it against a cement wall, or lobbying and volleying F-bombs is not going to change the situation. So it's like, why even do it? Why even do it? Why even get all bent out of shape? Yeah, who can afford to lose 28K? I can't. I know you can't. It took me a couple of years just to set aside, and I'm not exaggerating, set aside funds for my GoPro camera. Wifey said, you use your, you use your allowance money. You could do whatever you want with it. It took me a couple of years to save up for this. You know, and I know a lot of you are thinking, no way, no way, P.O.D. It did because you know what? I'm the kind of person that would spend money on you and not me. I am the kind of person that will spend money on my wife and other people, but not me. I don't know why that is, but I've never been one to like to spend money on myself. I always thought it to be a waste of money to spend something on myself. But it took me a couple of years to save up for this GoPro. You know, now it's now it's uh, out the door. But I am going to challenge, and I know what GoPro is going to tell me. They're going to tell me. They are going to. They are going to tell me. No, they're going to ask me. Well, is it still under warranty? No, it's not under warranty. Well, I'm sorry, sir. We're not going to be able to help you. The hell, you're not. I say, because I will be coming to your office. 
every day at nine o'clock in the morning. Okay, that's a stretch, not nine o'clock. My world don't start until after 11 a.m. I'm retired, <laughs> you know? So, but anyway, you know, it is what it is. Do a video about it. <laughs> I am. I am. I'm here to tell the world GoPro sucks. Now, you might like your GoPro. Um, great sharing about that log POD. Oh, thank you. She's trying to shift uh, my thoughts uh, to the loggers out there. Thank you. I I appreciate that. Uh, those guys were a, a bundle of fun uh, to talk to. I talked to them a little bit off camera, and uh, that's all they do. Uh, you know, they log those falcata trees and throw them up on a truck and haul them out, uh, you know. And as I get more video uploaded, now I was lucky. I was lucky to be able to keep some of the video that I had. And it's only because my wife, my beautiful, loving, always thinking wife, put a memory card in it. And the, the, the images, the videos were saved on the memory card. The camera won't fire up. It won't start up. It, it's a, it's a paperweight, but luckily uh, wifey put the uh, memory card in it before we got there and I was able to retrieve some of the videos. So for that, I am thankful. <sighs> Do I look refreshed, you guys? Tim says, POD, have a glass of pineapple juice and relax for a while. Let your blood pressure go down. No, no, you guys are mistaken. I'm not in a bad mood tonight. I'm, I really am not. I should be. I should be. I have reason to be, but I'm not. I'm not in a bad mood because the things that I've learned in life is when it comes to material stuff, uh, I don't get too bent out of shape over material things. This is a material item. What puts this into perspective for me? is just before we went to Tegbina, my neighbor, JR, uh, passed away. My best Filipino friend in the Philippines that I had near daily contact with passed away. And I really struggled with that, and I continue to struggle with it. That puts this in its place. You put this in its place. We must not lose our perspective and what's important in life. This is a piece of crap. This is a material item. Yeah, yeah, it stings losing 28K. It stings not being able to get out there and vlog with my, with my camera, but it stings and hurts even more when I lose somebody that I love and care about that keeps this in perspective, you know, Scotty B. Thank you, Scotty B. Thank you for coming in. Really appreciate you. Check out the Riley says I will buy it off for $5. Bam. Bill Riley. Come on, brother. <laughs> you, you are a scammer. <laughs> You are a you are a modern day scammer of all scammers in the Philippines. My goodness, brother. You know, my goodness. Glam Arnie says, I need to go. Ned is getting too slow again. Enjoy everyone. God bless. Good to see you, Glam. Thank you for coming in. Really appreciate seeing you. Uh, you know, you take good care of yourself. Uh, I'm not sure if you went out and got yourself a GoPro, uh, but you guys, if you do, uh, don't, don't take it for granted. Don't listen to GoPro that it's good for 33 feet, 10 meters, blah, blah, blah. Uh, as it turned out, put it in one of these, you know, um, the damn thing couldn't even sustain two inches of submersion before it pooped out on me. So yeah, it, it's a, it's a, it sucks. Sess travel vlogs. Hello everyone. Hi Sess. Thanks for coming in. 
Really appreciate it. Good to see you. So anyway, that's the story of a lady. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's the story of the GoPro Hero Black 7, which claims you can submerge this camera. That's right. You can submerge this camera 10 meters below the surface of the water, which equates to 33 feet, because it's rugged. It's waterproof. And you could share the experiences that you can't capture with your mobile phone device. Oh, yeah. Waterproof. Without a housing. Up to 10 meters. And up. And up for any adventure except this one. Wait for it. Wait for it. Just wait for it. What did you just say, Bill? Keep waiting for it. As soon as that guy goes get the kid, they sit down in the water. You're going to see how my 28K GoPro Hero 7 Black turned into a 28K paperweight. Like right now. 33 feet, 10 meters deep. Looked more like two or three inches to me, but it's a paperweight, though. Oh, yeah. A mighty fine looking, impressive paperweight, I might add. Yeah, I'm going to uh, Scotty B Show. I will most certainly do that. I'll go online and write a review. Uh, and in addition to that, I am going to uh, contact as many people as I can about this situation. Um, you know, now people might say, and people will say, there's no doubt about it, because there's always people that look at things in a different light. They'd be like, well, why were you so stupid to put it on a stand on the beach anyway? Fair question. POD, why were you so stupid to put your GoPro Hero 7 black camera that is advertised to be good for 33 feet below the surface of the water, which equates to 10 meters. So why were you so stupid to stick it in two inches of water? Why would you do that? I would say, why are you so stupid to ask such a stupid question based upon how they advertise their own camera? But hey, I'm not the brightest light bulb in the chandelier. My elevator don't go to the top. So maybe maybe I miss something. Kind of like the face shield thing passing through the threshold of a doorway, you know, into an eatery where you'd have to take your mask and your shield off. Maybe I miss something in Waterworld. May, you know, maybe I've missed something when I watched the movie Waterworld. Maybe I need to recapture those moments. Maybe the answer is there. You know, something that I just totally missed, which will explain to me with logical face shield theories as to why I can't submerge this in two inches of water. But it's good for 33 feet. 
I obviously missed something. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Tim say, I still say pass, still pack it in rice for uh, a few days. This damn thing ain't going to work. It's shot. So anyway, if anybody's in Davao and they want some accessories for GoPro, hit me up. I'll be more than happy to sell it to you. <laughs> I'm not talking about the dead camera. I'm talking about the accessories. All right. Was it as fun for you as it was for me? I sure hope so. But anyway, I did upload a couple of videos. Uh, I will upload more about about more meaningful stuff that transpire, uh, transpired in the province. Uh, we did have a good time, and uh, I was uh, able to capture and save some of my footage. Uh, my wife put a memory card in the camera. Uh, so, you know, I will have some more footage uh, that I will be uploading to Philippines on the man. Um, so, you know, there you go. So I wasn't able to use the camera after the beach. Uh, I lost a lot of opportunity uh, to record some other interesting stuff, um, you know, but, you know, it is what it is. So, hey, uh, I want to thank you for coming in. I'm going to head out. Uh, that's uh, two hours of rant, I think, uh, is enough. I hope that uh, you got a laugh or two out of it at least, you know. Tim says, good question. What cameras did they use filming Waterworld? Probably. More than likely than not. Not a GoPro Hero 7 Black. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Take care. And don't forget to sign on board with the POD Sports Zone. All right? I haven't forgotten about that channel. You can do an auction video for a GoPro accessories. Sounds cool. Sounds cool. Maybe I can find it. You know, somebody here, it would be only be another 25 peso investment. <laughs> Maybe I can find somebody in Davao that has a Hero 7 block that would like a extra compartment door in case they lose theirs or it breaks. And when I say lose, don't laugh because they do pull off. They do pull off. Uh, Got to take it off to be able to put your camera in this, uh, which makes no sense to me anyway. So should have been a red flag when I bought the damn thing, you know? So yeah, you know, I'll have some accessories. I'll even sell the replaceable lens. Somebody with a hero black would be very happy to have this uh, because if there's cracks and they're, camera is not under warranty, you can bet this bad boy will be very expensive. And they'll be, they'll be thanking themselves that POD sold the lens off of his 28K paperweight. Oh, yeah. We're here to please. We're here to please. You too, Ken. Yeah, don't let it get me down. Just 28K out the window. Out the window. Unbelievable. So anyway, you guys, you guys take care and uh, I'll catch you later. And uh, thanks for putting up with me tonight. And, uh, you know, it is what it is, you know, and, uh, you know, we'll roll. We'll roll with it. So if I don't see you, good morning, good afternoon and good night. Good night, everybody. Take care of yourself and tell the folks at Jollibee. P.O.D. said hello. Bye-bye.